Maloon Creek is a special place. It gets to you. My father understood that farmers do really love their land and they want to do the right thing by it. We're regenerating the environment. You know, this ancient landscape has all the answers that we need for us to go forward. And it's important to the social well-being of communities and of the nation. Well, it's been 50 years now that we've loved this farm. To see the changes to what it looks like now are just quite incredible. When he heard about Peter Andrews' work, he was just so astonished about the change and the improvement that happened so quickly that he wanted to share it with the rest of Australia. I have a desire to fulfil Tani's dream, and that's to have a, a fully functioning, biodynamic, organic operation farm that's sustainable and regenerative into the future. Maloon Creek Natural Farms is what we call the living laboratory for the Maloon Institute. We're regenerating the environment, we're regenerating a whole watershed. The landholders couldn't be happier with the results. It's just so exciting to, to wake up every day knowing that the work that I do is going to be of benefit to the environment and of benefit to Australia. You know, the vision that uh, Tony Coote wanted to uh, show was that uh, a working farm, uh, a profitable farm, uh, can also uh, do some great uh, work uh, for the environment. We see ourselves as probably we're quite an innovator. After Tony passed away, uh, he bequeathed the farms uh, to the Institute because he wanted to see this work go on. He was a great um, thinker, uh, he was a great visionary, and he'd be saying, well, yep, that's good now, you know, where to next? We absolutely need this. Otherwise, we will not be able to hand anything but a continually eroding, destroying landscape to, our, to the future generations. He lived on the land and with the land. So Tony Kurt, rest in peace, brother. I would like people to remember a man that had such love and passion for his country and really wanted to see it flourish 